Welcome to Tony's Cool Tools. Glad you stopped by. I really appreciate it. I'm over here at my buddy Dick's house and we've got a tree that we want to show you here that I'm sure a number of you get these where you either cut it or you get wind damage and you get a snag up here. And the problem is a normal snag that's just hanging on, you could roll it over. This one actually is stuck inside the other tree. So I'm going to show you a different way of doing it that's a little bit safer because normally You'd take a tree like this, you'd start cutting it. The problem is with this one, it's just going to go vertical on you and it's super dangerous. So we also have our other celebrity, my former <laughs> best friend here, wanted to come in and get on the action as well. So. How much am I getting paid for being here? Uh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Let's get to work. So naturally, regardless of what size puller you're using, it'll work. We could utilize the Mazdam, which is the least expensive, and it comes with 100 feet of rope. And if you have an anchor point within 100 feet, this is perfect for it. It's just a little time consuming because it's one notch at a time. And the same thing holds true for the more power puller here. Now, though this can do 12,000 pounds, it still is limited. It's only 35 feet here. So you're going to need a secondary rope to use this one. But either one of these works fine. Today we're going to use the, um, the portable winch here just because of speed and time. And this one here, we have a, a rope that's 164 feet. We're going to have an anchor line and we're also going to put it on a tree high enough so that it'll pull the branch and we'll show you that shortly. Okay. We don't need a highlight film here, so don't no. fall. <laughs> <laughs> so the only reason I don't really need to get this high but the only reason I'm doing it is I want that log to be lifted when I'm after I cut it here so we're just gonna get it I'm just gonna come right around here and grab that so we're nice and high and now We'll just get the rope when we're ready and install it right on. We're ready to go. For a second I thought you had a flat tire, but it <laughs> must just be my manly weight. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There, there we, we go. go. Lob it out there. Okay, the start of the system is the bottom of this tree right here. We're just going to loop this over. I could use a standard knot, but since I've got this fancy dancy gadget on it, we're just going to leave it. Walk over to our tree here. Attach this here. Loosen that up. These are the way to go with your snatch blocks that open up this way right here. Super easy afterwards. There we go. Now we just feed it to our anchor tree. And this is the portable winch, the PCW 4000. And the reason I like this specific one, I also have done a couple of videos on the same version in a battery.
and the PCW 5000. The reason I like the 4000 is because they have this capture device right here so that I can put tension on the rope here. I can put tension on the whole tree, walk away from it, make my cuts, come back here, and then just pull it. So it holds the tree, it gives it some tension. And the way it operates is I put the rope underneath, put about four or five wraps on it, bring it through the capture system here, and it just snaps right in. The reason also I like the PCW 4000 is it's similar to a chainsaw. It's non-directional, and what I mean by that is I can tilt this motor 180 degrees and it won't shut off. Where the PCW 5000, I have to keep it level the whole time. Okay, we put some tension on it as you can see here. And I'm just gonna shut it off. So here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go ahead and make our pie cut right here and then undercut it so that it falls down. And hopefully by having the tension on it, I'll be able to pull the tree and bring this tree straight down without being close to it to get hurt. Let's see if it happens. That's what we wanted. Okay, now we're just gonna start the portable winch and see if it'll pull it out. Well, I think we got it safely down. Slicker and greased all done. Really? On <laughs> linoleum? Yep. Cool. So, I wanted to thank you very much for filming this. Time I'm, of my life. Best day, best day I've had I all year. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> 
So what did you think about this method? I can see where if you're a person that doesn't have a tractor, because mm -hmm. ideally if the tractor, you could have grabbed that and yes. pulled it off. Yep. But if you're working alone, you want to be safe, that is the way to do it, to basically stand off to the side, whether you use a, a come along or you're using your Mazdam or if you're using, um, what was the other brand, the, the, your big the, red one? The more power the more puller. power or your little motor. Yep, with the your, your portable winch company. Portable winch is awesome. To be able to pull something off like that and be safe, because dying is usually something that's gonna ruin your day. Yeah, plus the insurance companies <laughs> that, won't that like too. it, yeah. That too, so yeah, doing something like that is just awesome. And all of us, well not all of us, but a lot of you have probably had situations where you cut a tree and you think you're gonna drop it in a hole. And it and snags. It, it, it snags, you get a, it twist turns on you and it snags up there, and then you gotta chunk it down and then you're worrying about getting you know hit in the head with stuff falling or you're you're trying to cut and trying to not get hit with the, as as the tree breaks as you're cutting it so this is just a safe way to do it get it down for a one person operation yep. like you say if you don't have a tractor or whatever and naturally not everyone can afford a portable winch you know they're 14 1500 yeah, just to get a come along uh, well, come along would work would it, yeah. exactly either yeah. of the the ones that i showed yep. would definitely do it it's just time consuming yep that's yep. it but other than that works fantastic but using, being using a little bit of time and being safe is better than trying to do it fast and being dead well the big <laughs> thing like you said when you have a tree that's leaning and it's stuck mm -hmm. if it's just leaning on a couple of branches that's one thing but when you start making those wedge cuts and it starts almost coming vertical to you, right. at some point it's going to come at you or well, I've had sideways. That happen, where uh, I've had a leaner and as I cut, you know, it, it just keeps going up and it gets stood up. And then you're on that last cut, and then one of two things is going to happen: it's going to be hung up, and you can only cut so high, and you can't cut anymore because it's hung, or it'll tip back on you, and you're right there. Yeah. So, and, and the problem is, is a lot of people that maybe don't cut a lot, um, that's how they get hurt. Yeah, exactly. I mean, even with a tractor on something like this, I would probably have set it up so that the tractor does the same job as the portable winch mm -hmm. did, as opposed to using a grapple or anything and trying, because it could twist the grapple or yep. it could flip the tractor depending. Yep. So any of those. So roping it off is much better in my opinion. Or you could hire a forester to come in with their, their big tiger cat or oh. Ponzi and grab it and pull it off because those guys know what they're doing. That's the way wait, to wait, do it. You're saying we don't? <laughs> well, we know what we're doing, but we want to be safe doing it. And if you're limited with equipment, yeah. you do the best with what you've got and try to be safe. That is true. Well, we hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And give me a thumbs up as well, in spite of this guy. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.